So welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors. Uh, Joel, we got a slew of things going on yeah, today. Yeah, first of all, buddy, cheers. Cheers. It's been a long time. It has been a long time. What do you got there? I am, uh, you are so graciously sharing some uh, Jefferson's bourbon aged at sea. Yep, that Jefferson's ocean. Hard to find. Hard to find. And uh, yeah, that's good. And I'm drinking a, uh, I spent a little time up in Milwaukee and I ran across this uh, microbrewery up there called Eagle Park. And if you guys are ever, if you're a craft beer fan, you're ever up in the area, get yourself some Eagle Park. They have like 30, 40 that they either have on cans or tap. Amazing. Always rotating. Cheers. Cheers. But uh, this is a quick introduction for us today because this is the tips and tricks. And uh, we've got the two, one of the two dumbasses' wives actually doing a tips and tricks on fire starters. Yeah, Ruth. Ruth, I tell you what, I... Uh, when I was a kid, my mom used to make these fire starters, and I told my wife about it, and like she was Johnny on the spot, and uh, she's been doing them ever since for folks. Yeah, and that I've you guys have shared them with us for a decade now or longer, and uh, I'm going to start the grill tonight with one, and we'll get that on video. And uh, man, I, I use them for the grill, campfire, wood stove at the cabin, uh, and if I was ever going to go out west hunting or whatever. I would have three or four of those things in my backpack uh, from a safety standpoint. Yeah, they really work great, and, yeah. and you can keep them forever. And for the most part, you're using, you're recycling through materials. Basically, zero, zero investment into them if you're recycling candles and egg cartons and lint is yeah. basically the contents. But uh, yeah, with no further ado, let's uh, let's get a look at that. Uh, look forward to it. Welcome guys. We're going to do some tips and tricks today and today is on fire starters and this is something that we've done for many many years. It's a great way to use up some supplies that you have. It's homemade and it's great for starting fires. And so what we're ultimately going to do is actually create, looks a little funky, but a fire starter made out of an egg carton with lint from the dryer and old candles. So guys, step one is actually filling our egg cartons. And it's important that you're using uh, the paper cartons and not the styrofoam. And so I basically, this all this lint I saved from our dryer, okay, I got a whole stack of it. And I'm basically going to just fill each of these holes as, you know, as much as I can get into it. This is nothing, no exact science. It's just how much lint can you get in there? Because this is what really, um, we'll absorb the wax, and then um, when we go to start it, um, it will hold the wax, and you'll get a good flame to have a, a good fire starter. So that's step one. All right, step number two is that we're going to actually melt the wax. If you have a double boiler, that's great. I don't have one that I would want to use with wax. So I use a pot of boiling, boiling water a tin from, you know, a pie tin. And I basically, I'm gonna set that on in there and let this melt. Okay, so we are using this pan to basically, as a double boiler, to melt our wax. And this wax, you can get it from a garage sale. You know, Aunt Susan, when she comes to visit, she brings her old candles. You can buy paraffin wax, like at Menards or, any home improvement store and you can melt that and you can use that also but we're basically going to melt our wax and from here it's as simple as I already have plenty kind of a good base melted so I'm basically I just like to kind of get off some of that steam off of it and I'm gonna just simply pour it right on top of my lint it's not gonna be perfect doesn't have to be perfect. And I want to be able to fill each of these holes with wax. As you can see. Now I used it all and I'm going to set this back on my thing and melt some more. It's not done yet. This needs to be heavily coated um, for it to be a good fire starter. 
All right, so we're continuing with our wax. Again, this is a little hot, so I, my fingers are used to the heat, but you might need to wear um, some oven mitts or something like that. Um, again, I'm just trying to soak each one of these little compartments. As you see, I run over, and that's why I put the paper down so I don't ruin my stove. And I'm gonna go over this like probably two or three times just to make sure that everything is well coated. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna do this one more time. So this is my third uh, time across these, each of these. Again, we're trying to get as much wax in each of these little compartments. So I'm gonna let that cook some more. But the whole plan is, is how do we make it look more like this, knowing that uh, there's plenty of wax in the actual individual fire starters. That's kind of what you're trying to get towards when you're thinking, um, as you can see, I'm pretty much there, but I could probably use a little bit more, one more round on this set. So I'm gonna do it one more time, and I'm just gonna set it aside to dry and they'll be ready to use. There is your fire starters. All right, so you have, as you've seen, these fire starters are awesome, and uh, I'm gonna use one to, uh, I use it to start my, my uh, Komodo Joe here, green egg, and uh, they work fantastic. So give it a try, folks. I know you'll love it, and thanks to the other dumbass's uh, wife for turning us on to this and making some of these for us, and I hope you have just as good luck with Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.